Is the word music inexpressible? The word music derives from the Greek word musik, which means art of the muses. The nine Greek muses who inspired science, literature, and arts in ancient Greece. A good definition of music is the art of the organized sound. Hmm. Or maybe this one. The architecture of sound. Well, that sounds better. But let's try it again. A group of successive sounds combined according to this art, which usually produce an aesthetic or expressive effect and are pleasing to the ear. Hmm, not convinced yet? Well, just as the word art, music is hard to define. We all know what's music, but when we stop to ask ourselves what's its definition, we have a hard time to put it in plain words. We know the value and importance of music in our society, from China to Africa or Europe to the American continent. Everyone likes music. Or have we ever found someone who doesn't like music? Yeah, I thought so. Everyone loves music. It doesn't matter if you're a criminal or a policeman, a killer or a priest, kids, adults, and old people consume music. We have music for every situation and purpose. We create strong bounds with the music we like. Our music means to us an infinite universe of emotions, situations, and sensations. So, is music the art of organized sound? The answer is yes, but it's more than just that. Music goes beyond its mathematical and objective properties as harmony, melody, rhythm, and tuning among others. But how could we define that? Well, could you describe the redness of red? This is what we called qualia. Qualia are subjective qualities of individual experiences. For example, as we mentioned before, the redness of red or the painfulness of pain. Inexpressible. It can't be communicated or learned by any other means rather than direct experience. Just as music, inexpressible with words, or as Victor Hugo once said, Music expresses that which cannot be put into words and that which cannot remain silent. To know what music is and its effects, you must experience it. We can talk with each other about music and we can reach common grounds, but everyone will have a different perception of it. Or maybe not, we can't know that. Every perception is unique and can't be objectively communicated through words to another individual. The experience of music is a unique phenomenon Music is the most powerful medium, a basic need everyone has, and that should have the right to satiate that need. In Michael Rosado Bennett's 2014 documentary, Alive Inside, we can clearly see how music has a very positive result in easing the suffering on Alzheimer's patients. Old patients with this disease can't even remember their family anymore, not their children or their partners, can't remember who they were, this makes patients to isolate and get trapped inside themselves. But when they get in touch with the music they always loved, the change is incredible. They become alive again. They even remember the lyrics and moves to the song they used to hear when they were young. This terrible disease can vanish the person's most beautiful memories, but never the musical memories. The power of music is infinite. If you can sometimes ask yourself, why is there something rather than nothing? You should ask yourself too, why is there music rather than silence? Music is still a mystery, a beautiful mystery. Just as the universe can't be measured, powerful as the sun, infinite as the universe, and beautiful as nature. In the tedium and weariness of a sometimes indifferent universe, where someday we will become dust, Music has given us the purpose of life, and that is to feel.